Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start with our opening ceremony in about 10 minutes from now. While waiting for other participants to enter, those who are already present, please get ready. And I hope that you are on microphone, this, your microphone is on mute mode to ensure the smoothness of this program. It is best if you view this program on your PC or laptop instead of your mobile or handphone to avoid any unnecessary incidents. CTD points will be given to all IIUM staff who witness this opening ceremony. The registration link is provided in the chat box, both YouTube and Zoom platform. While CPD points for medical doctors, you need to scan the QR code displayed on the homepage of the website. We will like to remind you that this program is virtual. Your cooperation in making this program as smooth as possible is greatly appreciated. The clarity of the video depends on your internet speed. Kindly be informed that this program is live and will be conducted in English.
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, most merciful, most compassionate. Honorable Datuk Sri Dr. Nuraini Binti Ahmad, Minister of Higher Education Malaysia. Honorable Professor Emeritus Tan Sri Datuk Zulkifli Abdul Razak, the Rector of the International Islamic University Malaysia and the Advisor for the Third World Congress on Integration and Islamicization. Honorable Datuk Dr. Hisham Shah bin Muhammad Ibrahim, Deputy Director General of Health in Research and Technical Support, representing Yang Berbahagia Tan Sri Datuk Sri Dr. Nur Hisham Abdullah, the Director General of Health Malaysia, Honorable Professor Datuk Haji Kamruzaman bin Yunus, the Campus Director of IIUM Kuantan, who is also the Organizing Chairman for the Third World Congress on Integration and Islamicization and the Eighth International Conference on Information Communication Technology for the Muslim World. Honorable guests, distinguished speakers, participants, committee members, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. In the name of Allah most gracious, most merciful. And blessings be upon our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa salam, his families and his companions. Good morning and welcome to the opening ceremony of the Third World Congress on Integration and Islamicization 2021. Also collaborating with us is the Eighth International Conference on Information and Communication Technology for the Muslim World. This year's theme is Mental Health and Wellbeing in the Fourth Industrial Revolution. My name is Oya Safura, and I will be your MC throughout this event. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now play you the Malaysia National Anthem, Negaraku, and followed by the IIUM Anthem, leading the way.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin with the ceremony, let us take a moment of silence and offer a prayer and recite our Fatiha for all our brothers and sisters in Palestine and elsewhere in the world for all atrocities to stop. Al Fatiha. Amin, amin, ya Rabbal Alamin. Brothers and sisters, to seek blessings for this event, I would like to invite Ustaz Kamaruzaman Suman from the Center for Languages and Pre University Academic Development, South Bad IIUM, to recite the Al Quranu Karim. He will recite you from the chapter 17, Surah Al Israq, ayat 78 until 87. Tafadal, ya Ustaz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. أقم الصلاة لدلوك الشمس إلى غسق الليل وقرآن الفجر إن قرآن الفجر كان مشهودا ومن الليل فتهجد به نافلة لك عسى أن يبعثك ربك عسى أن يبعثك ربك مقاما محمودا وَقُلْ رَبِّ أَدْخِلْنِي مُدْخَلَ صِدْقٍ وَأَخْرِجْنِي مُخْرَجَ صِدْقٍ وَاجْعَلْ لِي مِنْ لَدُنْكَ سُلْطَانًا نَصِيرًا وَقُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقُّ وَزَهَقَ الْبَاطِلِ إن الباطل كان زهوقا وننزل من القرآن ما هو شفاء ورحمة للمؤمنين ورحمة للمؤمنين ولا يزيد الظالمين إلا خسارا وإذا أنعمنا على الإنسان أعرض ونآ بجانبه وَإِذَا مَسَّهُ الشَّرُّ كَانَ يَأُوسَا قُلْ كُلٌّ يَعْمَلُ عَلَى شَاكِلَتِهِ فَرَبُّكُمْ أَعْلَمُ بِمَنْ هُوَ أَهْدَى سَبِيلًا وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الرُّوحِ قل الروح من أمر ربي وما أوتيتم من العلم إلا قليلا ولئن شئنا لنذهبن بالذي أوحينا إليه ثم لا تجد لك به علينا وكيلا إلا رحمة من ربك إن فضله كان عليك كبيرا صدق الله العظيم Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 
Jazakallahu khair, Ustaz. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I would like to invite Honorable Professor Emeritus Tan Sri Datuk Zulkifli Abdul Razak, Rector of the International Islamic University, Malaysia, to give his welcoming speech. Please welcome Tan Sri. <laughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala syafil anbiya mursalin sayidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi washabbihi ajmain la haula wala quwwata illa billah. The honorable Datuk Sri Dr Nuraini Ahmad, Minister of Higher Education Malaysia, Professor Dr Kamaruzaman Yunus, Director of IUM Kuantan Campus and also the chairperson for the third 2021 World Congress on Integration and Islamization. Respected keynote speakers, paper presenters, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. Let me first of all take this opportunity to thank Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us the opportunity to meet on a platform which I think it is very important for us to come together and discuss the issue at hand i would like also to personally record that my thanks and the campus uh, gratefulness to the honorable minister for willing to officiate this congress uh, as she has done uh, in a, a while ago this is a congress that is uh, done uh, by the university on an annual basis i think we have done uh, two congresses before and this is the third one that talks about mental health and social being as a focus this time around this congress is about bringing people of all walks of life be it religious be it medical be it social and also be it scientific so that we can get together to integrate some of our knowledge and also our experience into what we call a process of trying to understand it from the perspective of islam in particular this time around i think the notion of mental health and social well-being is an important issue given the pandemic that all of us are experiencing today and a one that is a very challenging one for all of us this issue needs to be understood well not only from the medical and the scientific point of view but also other views including religious islamic views in particular this will help us to understand where we are what else that we need to do and how we can on in the future avoid issues of this nature for that i think the coming of minds of everybody becomes an an important uh, activity that all of us must participate and give our best in trying to understand the issue as a whole rather than in parts i would like to mention that this university has been since the time of the uh, covid uh, Uh, intrusion into our life has taken uh, mental health very seriously as a platform to move forward because we do understand mental health is not something that all of us are familiar with pre covid now i think it becomes a very important factor in trying to not only avoid the issue of the covid uh, intrusion but also to keep ourselves well in terms of facing the challenges that is posed to us on that note the university has been working very hard we have got a number of task force our counselors are working almost overtime and also our medical personnel in trying to bring together what we now call the policy on mental health as far as our staff and students is concerned in this congress we want to officiate and launch this so that people do understand that the university is taking steps in trying to integrate mental health together with physical health so that if we have a total understanding of what health is all about in the future making it a total activity for the university as well as its members and community i would also like to mention that the university has gone one step ahead in trying to create an app so that it will be a kind of an early uh, warning apparatus for the student and the staff to know where they are in the context of mental health and therefore helps the university to move forward quickly in trying to elevate 
some of the issues that is coming along as far as the staff and the student is concerned. On that note also, I would like to congratulate the, the government of Malaysia in taking this issue well ahead in the last World Health Organization meeting as a new member of WHO Executive Board. The Honorable Prime Minister has made a statement that Malaysia is particularly concerned about mental health, knowing that this will be the future pandemic if you are not careful in trying to deal with it. We would like to pledge our support from the Prime Minister's concern and recommendation in making mental health an issue for all of us to work on. This university will try its best in trying to make mental health the key focus moving forward in trying to deal with uh, the coronavirus, not only in the context of what we see today, but looking forward into the future in trying to create a better society in the future for all of us. On that note, I would like to thank the organizing committee and congratulate them. And I hope you will have a fruitful uh, deliberation coming out with resolution that we can use for making the COVID uh, pandemic uh, a better issue to be understood and also to come up with better solution and resolution with, to how to deal with it. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Thank you so much, Tansri, for the exquisite welcoming speech. Ladies and gentlemen, as mentioned by Tansri earlier in his speech, this is the third time IIUM organized the World Congress on Integration and Islamicization. The first Congress was held in 2013, and the second Congress was held in 2016. And this year, due to the current pandemic situation, we are holding this third Congress virtually. We will now share with you the montage of our previous programs. Royal Highness the Sultan of Bahar hereby declare open the Second World Congress on Integration and Islamicization, focus on medical and healthcare science 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the audience, besides the launching of the Third World Congress on Integration and Islamicization, and also the Eighth International Conference on Information and Communication Technology for the Muslim World, we will also be launching the IIUM Mental Health 
policy for IIUM staff and students and the IIUM Sejahtera profiling web-based apps. And for that, I would like to invite Honourable Datuk Sri Dr. Noraini Binti Ahmad, Minister of the Higher Education Malaysia, to officially launch these events. Please welcome Honourable Datuk Sri. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yang berbahagia Profesor Emeritus Tan Sri Datuk Zulkifli Abdul Razak, Rector of the International Islamic University Malaysia and the advisor for the Third World Congress, Professor uh, Dr. Kamaruzaman Yunus, IIUM Kuantan Campus Director and Organizing Chairman, distinguished speakers, participants, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning. I am grateful that we are able to attend the 2021 World Congress on the Integration and Islamization of the Mental Health and Wellbeing in the Fourth Industrial Revolution. Heartiest congratulations to the organizing committee from the International Islamic University Malaysia on this initiative to address an issue that is highly relevant in our current circumstances. It has been widely acknowledged that the COVID-19 pandemic has significantly affected our daily lives. The Movement Control Order, or MCO, and falls in Malaysia is necessary to say at the least. It is in line with the objective of the Islamic divine law, which is to preserve life. It is widely known that in the advent of the MCO, our activities are limited. While some are able to cope with the restrictions well, others may feel overwhelmed, stressed, anxious, and worried. It is essential for us to help each other in facing these emotional effects. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to hear that IIUM is aware of this issue and is monitoring the state of the staff and students' mental health and well being. It is important for institutions to provide an environment where its community members' mental health is taken care of. This includes preventive advocacy and intervention actions. Addressing this, IIUM has developed two specific policies which outlines the university's commitment to provide help, not just to individuals, but also to persons support system. The policies are IIUM mental health policy for staff and IIUM mental health policy for students. A system called IIUM Sejahtera Profiling or ISP has been developed and is widely acknowledged by the campus community. ISP is a set of screening tools that comprises of indicators for one's psychological conditions. The self-administered assessment for students and staff contains several dimensions of well-being, namely mental health, coping, and level of spirituality, propensity. ISP screening is integrated into web these applications that is easily accessible by students. Ladies and gentlemen, in my address to the members of the Ministry of Higher Education earlier this year, I stated six strategic focuses of the ministry, one of which is to bolster the well-being of the community. I am pleased that a holistic approach such as this initiative taken by IIUM supports the ministry's agenda. I am confident that innovative approaches such as this will be able to elevate the understanding and development of mental health in Malaysia. Let this be the stepping stone for more resolutions to come. Ladies and gentlemen, without Further ado, I would like 
to officiate the 2021 World Congress on the integration and Islamization the mental health and well-being in the fourth industrial revolution. Wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Datuk Sri. Alhamdulillah, with a note from Honorable Datuk Sri, these events are officially opened. The organizing committee would like to acknowledge the International Institute of Islamic Thought, Triple IT, Majlis Ugama Islam dan Adat Usam Melayu Pahang, Muib, and also Ben Medic, Acumet, IMAX, and MSA for sponsoring this program. Ladies and gentlemen, we will start with a keynote speech in five minutes. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back shortly.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We will now start with our keynote speech from Honorable Datuk Dr. Hisham Shah bin Muhammad Ibrahim, representing the Honorable Datuk Tan Sri Datuk Sri Dr. Nur Hisham bin Abdullah, the Director General of Health Malaysia, to give his keynote speech. Datuk Dr. Hisham Shah is the Deputy Director General of Health in Research and Technical Support. 
with the title Mental Health and Wellbeing in the Fourth Industrial Revolution Challenges in the COVID-19 Era and Implementing the Sejahtera Concept, please welcome Datuk Dr. Hisham Shah. Thank you, Madam uh, MC. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Uh, the Honourable Yang Berhormat Datuk Sri Dr. Nur Aini Ahmad, Minister of Higher Education Malaysia. Yang Berbahagia Professor Emeritus Tan Sri Datuk Dr. Zulkifli Abdul Razak, the Honourable Rector of the International Islamic University of Malaysia and the Advisor for the Third Virtual World Congress on Integration and Islamization. Yang Berbahagia uh, Professor Dr. Kamur Zaman Yunus, DIIUM. Kuantan Campus Director and Organizing Chairman of the Third World Congress on Integration and Islamization and the Eighth International Conference on Information and Communication Technology for the Muslim World, the IIUM Top Management, Distinguished Plenary Speakers, Attending Participants, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Brothers and Sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Salam sejahtera and a very good morning, everyone. It is indeed a pleasure to be here with you today. And I would like to thank and congratulate the International Islamic University Malaysia and the IIUM Center for Islamization Centuries for successfully organizing the Third World Congress on Integration and Islamization, Mental Health and Wellbeing in the Fourth Industrial Revolution with the theme today of incorporating ethical values and makasid al sharia in sustainable healthcare and well-being. I would like to congratulate uh, the launch of the ISP mental health uh, apps for uh, EIIUM. I think uh, very well done indeed. Uh, the selected theme for today is certainly fitting uh, in our world where the COVID-19 pandemic has fashioned an inevitable change uh, in how uh, the government, industries, and public adapting and uh, revolutionizing, revolutionizing uh, the work processes that we do today, our policies, the business model, our lifestyles, and our well-being. It has certainly changed uh, the way we do work uh, today. And I think the COVID-19 pandemic has certainly triggered daunting implication, both locally and abroad, uh, on the healthcare front and also the well being of our people. And it is wise to say that the reception and apprehending of the fourth international revolution, IR 4.0, will help us to heal, survive, and strive. And according to the national policy, there are 11 pillars of the Malaysian industry 4.0, namely, number one, additive manufacturing, number two, artificial intelligence, number three, big data, number four, advanced materials, number five, cybersecurity, number six, simulation, number seven, cloud computing, number eight, augmented reality, number nine, internet of things, number 10, autonomous robots, and number 11, systems integration. To the public, IR 4.0 is always associated with the Internet of Things or Internet of Medical Things, uh, if you refer to the healthcare sector, advanced digitalization, machine learning, smart automation to promote high productivity, high accuracy, less error, less human dependency, and less wastage. Ultimately, most of the time, the IR 4.0 are almost profit, almost always profit driven for most organizations that is. In our beloved country, we want to benefit from IR 4.0 without compromising on our roots and also our Islamic principles by incorporating the ethical values and principles of Makassid al sharia into the IR 4.0 policies and actions. Through the IR 4.0, we want to attain the Quranic concept of al nafs al mutmainnah the satisfied soul, al-Iqma'nan, al-Qab, 
with the happy heart, the contented heart, and al rida al nafs, which is happiness, true happiness. And currently, there are interesting trends on how IR 4.0 is directly reshaping our healthcare systems, which include number one, high integration of data and platform between healthcare facilities, providers, and even people uh, out there in the community. Number two, there are also what we call the Internet of Bodies, IOB, an extension of the Internet of Things or Internet of Medical of Things. And number three, the advent of precision medicine. Number four, patient-centered care. And number five, the use of artificial intelligence as virtual healthcare assistants. The IOB is exemplified by the hybrid assisted assistive limb, acronym of HAL, a wearable robot that assists movements of stroke patients. Meanwhile, AI as a virtual health assistant is demonstrated by the feasibility of Alexa to help Alzheimer's patients by giving them scheduled reminders for medication or even for meals. Yeah? And how are the artificial intelligence and IR 4.0 can help our patients and community to achieve the values of the Makassir Al Sharia. So this is a challenge for every one of us here today. The advancement in the natural sciences and information technology are not without rising concerns, both from the philosophical and moral standpoints. Are these advancements, the increased availability and usage of technology impacting the human intellect? on our mental health? Can these advances result in better healthcare therapies, for example, in the treatment of neurological or mental disorders? Here is where Makassid Ar Sharia comes in, advancing science and technology with the preservation of order to benefit while preventing harm or corruption, upholding Islamic jurisprudence while establishing equality amongst people, enabling the Ummah to become powerful mentally and spiritually. Preserving the well-being of the Ummah involves not only the young and healthy amongst us, we must apply harm reduction principles of Islamic jurisprudence, starting from the very beginning in nursing and healthcare practices, in family and reproductive-related psychology to look into the genetics and their potential therapies from birth and thereafter. In childhood safety, for instance, and the mental and physical state of our young population, we need to rev up the prevention and management of psychiatric and mental health disorders at all ages. And finally, enhance palliative care and end of life care all within the Islamic perspective. Well, in order to achieve such ambitious targets, all relevant parties must come together from the NGOs to buy to mom and the academia, of course, and to all other medical and healthcare government agencies. All of us here have our own roles to play. Lastly, I noted that today's Congress provides exceptionally interesting program and prominent speakers. I'm glad to see you keeping up with the IR 4.0 potentials and the arts of balancing it with the ethical values and Makassir Ar Sharia for sustainable healthcare and well being. I would like to extend my sincerest congratulations to IIUM and Centris for your commendable effort and a very warm, warm welcome to our local international uh, visitors and participants. Uh, finally, uh, I would like to uh, wish all of you a very successful event today. I'd like to remind all of us to stay safe and please get all of ourselves vaccinated with the COVID-19 vaccine. Have a successful event. Wabilahi taufiq, wal hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Thank you.
Thank you, Dato, for the inspiring speech. Ladies and gentlemen, with the end of the keynote speech from the Deputy Director General of Health, we have come to the end of the opening ceremony. We will continue our plenary talk through the platform, uh, Zoom platform, and all paid participants are required to, jo to join through Zoom. We will meet you there in five minutes. Before that, I would like to remind everyone to adhere to your local SOPs in this fight against the global pandemic. Please be safe at all times and let us win this fight together. Thank you all for your precious time attending and witnessing this virtual opening ceremony. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank uh you. -huh.